Hello, my friends. Today is a big day, and I know I say that a lot, but today is a big day. I'm gonna ride over to my favorite bike shop in Boulder. It's called Community Cycles. And what they do is they get people on bikes. It's not your typical bike shop, it's a nonprofit. They help get bikes to people who otherwise would not be able to afford bikes. They do all sor sorts of community programs and teach kids how to fix their bikes. It is awesome. It's been around for, I don't know, 10 plus years. And today they are moving to their new location that they bought. They fundraised a ton of money and it's a big deal. And we are not moving the typical way with trucks. We are moving with bikes. We're doing a bike move because it's weird and it's cool and it totally just goes with what we do. Human powered machines are amazing. This is Community Cycles, or I should say, this is now old Community Cycles leaving today. I have a lot of memories here. A lot of memories working with the Earn a Bike program with little kids. What is that? A new bike. Oh, are you excited? Yep. Look at that. It's kind of sad looking at the old building though. I've, I've gone through some emotions on this even. Yeah. I'm gonna miss this place, but I am excited about the new place. Sue, what are you doing over here? I am packing the kitchen and I've been waiting to empty out this little disgusting kitchen for probably about 10 years. <laughs> What's up, user? Is that a box of toilet paper? Oh, uh, well, you know, you never, it never hurts to be prepared. <laughs> We've been around since 2006 um, and we help get people on bikes by teaching them bike safety and repair. We refurbish used bikes and get them out to the community super cheap so that you are have access to a really well-running, inexpensive bicycle. We give away bikes to low-income people and kids, and we advocate for safe places to walk and ride a bike in the city of Boulder and Boulder County. This is a very exciting time for community cycles. Um, I think buying a building in Boulder sets us up as a, uh, an organization that is dedicated and um, has longevity. You know, we're all about alternative means of transportation which is incredibly important, particularly nowadays. Three or 400 pounds? Yeah. <laughs> nice. I, I've done 300 pounds of groceries, but you know, this is a little bit different, so it ought to be fun. What's in the stocking? It's, it's a fender. <laughs> this is the worst idea I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm with Ryan on this one. <laughs> Looks like wax lubricant. Ah. Have you ever loaded this much on your bike before? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> and why is it why is it important to be part of all this? Um, I don't know. It's just fun to help out the community and yeah, it's fun to get involved. Cup holders, very important. Now this tool, I'm not entirely sure how this one ends up here, but it sure does look medieval. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> it's a tomahawk. <laughs> We're gonna take it to the new space. All right, now I don't feel entirely worthless. I'm bringing a pannier full of tools. What did you just find? We actually, a uh, citrus hand cleaner oh. that was donated. I don't know how old this is. Anybody who would like to try this, please come to 2601. Give this a shot. Let me know if it's any good. If your hand breaks out in some kind of weird rash, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting ready. We are getting ready. We are ready. Probably not that heavy. Like, no, it's not heavy at all. Hi, Sue. Hey. Ole, 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 ole. <laughs> Little bit of uphill. You got this. This right here just shows the power of bicycles. You get a bunch of friends or volunteers together and you stack the bikes full of stuff. You can do a bike move and it's fun. And it puts everybody in a very good mood and everybody's getting exercise. We're outside, we're breathing fresh air. 
Whew. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. More straps. Why do you have such a big smile on your face? I'm on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes. That's all it takes? Yeah. Here it is, the new community cycles. We did it, we did it, high five. Yeah. Boom! I said we did it, they mostly did it. I carried like five tools. This is it, you should come on in. Let's right. take a look around. All right, let's do it. Here's the education room, which is really nice. We have a, we have a conference room upstairs. We have offices upstairs. So here's our um, new retail space. Um, I have enough bike uh, storage to hang 32 bikes in here right now. Excellent wallpaper. Look at this bathroom, it's so nice. So good. So good. Here we are at the mechanics room also. So I can fit a bunch of mechanics in here. Um, you know, we have one, two, three stands. And behind you is our donation door where stuff will be coming in. Yes. Banana oh. seats. We should have, everybody should have more banana seats in their life. Yeah, they should. <laughs> I am so happy for Community Cycles. They have been such an asset to this community for the past 10 plus years. Now they have this new location, they own it, it's theirs, it's more central, and they're gonna keep on doing great things for our community. Boulder loves Community Cycles, and Community Cycles loves Boulder. And I'm excited just standing here knowing that so many dreams are gonna come true. Kids are gonna get their first bikes, Adults are gonna get their first bikes. People who don't have money to get a nice bike will be able to come here and find one that's affordable. People will learn how to work on their bikes and ultimately there's gonna be more people riding bikes in Boulder, which is what we all want. Not just in Boulder, but all across the world. So if you in your community have a shop like this, a community bike shop, go volunteer at it. And hey, if you don't have one, start one. This thing was started by a guy named Rich Points back in 2006 in a small closet. So we're Community Cycles and uh, we got started uh, earlier this year in May and what we were doing was uh, getting bikes to low income people for prices that they can afford. And now look what it has blossomed into. 